The largest open studio tour in the country happens this weekend in Northeast Minneapolis. It is time to get our art, our art a whirling. It is art a world time. Shane Wells joins us from the Casket Arts Building with a preview. A little screen printing to start the morning, and this is one of the demos that's going to be happening over the weekend at Art of World, which is back. It's the first time it's been in its full capacity since 2019, and word is this is going to be a pretty big event. Jeannie Castro, supercharged printmakers here at the Casket Arts Building. Okay, what are you working on here? Hi, I'm working on bra printing. <laughs> of course, why not? <laughs> and when Anna asked me, she goes, "You need a little bit of definition. Like, what's bra printing?" And so I created these screen prints that are, we're doing demonstrations on Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 3. So um, I took a bra, shot it in the screen. That's and an then, actual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two bras, and um, people have a lot of fun printing them. We have bra printing parties, and people collect them, hang like one or two in their bedroom. Um, dining room. So you've kind of made it easier for people to get a taste of what they can expect. How does this part work? Um, we have a gallery here at Supercharged Printmakers and we've invited all of the Casket Arts um, building and campus to participate in the show. And then I had guest curators come and help me put it together um, and choose the artworks. So everyone, we had like three from each artist that we could select and the, these, this is what we chose and how we chose to hang it and this is my friend Esther who is one of the curators and yeah Esther Callan okay tell us how you kind of made these choices because again we talked about how many members there are in NEMA I was like a thousand and I know in this building there's a ton too mm -hmm. how did you kind of narrow it down what were you looking for well first you never do anything in a silo everything's done collaboratively here and with the support of Jeannie and um, the other jurors we set out all the art took a look at what were some of the themes that automatically showed up in space like for instance there's a pattern that's happening just automatically that pops out between these four different styles of art but yet when they're put together they tell a story so this theme really was how we kind of worked through this whether it was a color theme a shape theme or a, uh, a visual theme every single one of them created its own little story vignette throughout the space and then created its own narrative all the way through everything is put in place with care basically absolutely <laughs> that's what a curator's title is curare means to care there you go. I was asking if you do art as well, and you said this, I mean, this is your art, right. is putting yeah. art together but to make art. But it's really putting it together with others. Right. Um, being able to be in space with incredible artists like Jeannie, with all these incredible artists from this space, and being able to see how even though there's multiple disciplines represented, they can all really tell an incredible story of not only the incredible art scene that Northeast Minneapolis has, but also the incredible artists that can be housed in all these really beautiful, old, wonderful spaces throughout the state of Minnesota. The buildings are a work of art. You're right. They really Even are. The buildings. Look at the architecture. So cool. <laughs> if you want to come plot out your journey, again, this is the Casket Arts Building, but you can go to NEMA.org, N-E-M-A-A.org, and that's where you can get the directory of everybody who is going to be opening up their gallery, what kind of art they have. You can even buy art right there online. Uh, plan out your weekend. It's going to be a big popular one. It's going to be Friday through Sunday. Back to you.